Hello and welcome to my new little kind of like side show right now. Um, that I don't know if I'll even put it on YouTube, but I'll just call it tidbits of favorite games, basically. Um, we're gonna go ahead and play a little bit of Super Mario World. Go ahead and erase that. I'm actually in between Let's Plays right now. I just finished one, so it's gonna start coming up. Figure maybe I'll just go ahead and record this on the side. Looks like Bowser's on it again. Go figure. Alright, so I know uh, you're kind of supposed to start with Yoshi's Island 1, but I don't ever really do that. So, I go to Yoshi's Island 2. Oh, I'm sorry. He said, uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff about being trapped inside an egg by Bowser and how his friends are trapped too, and he needs your help, kinda, and thank you for rescuing him. Get over here. I can't talk and do stuff at the same time. I'm terrible at it. So right now most of my Let's Plays are uh, RPG titles. It's easier to think while I'm doing turn-based. Oh, it didn't work. The duck. I usually eat them out of the wall before they get that far. And that is Yoshi's Island 2. Okay, so now we're gonna go to Yoshi's Island 1. Like that. Not normally so bad at this. Maybe I'm a bit jittery because I just had coffee. about Yoshi for now. We don't need him. Well, I didn't get any stars for this one. Dang it. Let's go 
Because I died. And I guess we'll just go ahead and do this now. Poses are the best way to end any switch place. I don't think I've ever got that one before. He almost looks like he's about to throw it like a football or something. Or a baseball, maybe. It's a very sporty look. Anyway. really cool that they kind of just have for different switch places different items that you can get and that they brought that back in Mario 64 because I felt like that was a really cool element. Yoshi dance, Yoshi dance. Oh I forgot there's a platform down there now. I think it's weird though that his arms are orange. Like, what's up with that? Requirements are to actually get something good out of that thing. Yeah, a 16 star. I remember I didn't used to know what it was that got you the special bonus mini game, and then I guess when I was older, I, I did um, a playthrough and got the full. I want to say it's a 96 star. It might be 98. I can't remember. It's been so long. My sister still has my cartridge somewhere, and uh, it's on there, but I got the full completion of this game, and then I realized that's what was going on. I was so confused, just like, oh, that's how that game happens. I mean, it's like, I guess, it's really cool, because it reminds me of, like, Mario 3, where you kind of get, every so often, you get the uh, card game. Which is so easy when you take the time to like write all it down every time you play. Because then you've got all of them written down like back before game guides. That was pretty much the only way. Word of mouth and having someone who wrote all that stuff down. My dad did stuff like that. Like we used to have a cartridge of Castlevania 2 with like a, a big sticker on the back from the appliance company he worked for. It's like for tagging items and writing descriptions. So he put the final code on there to get him at the end of the game when he finally got that far. Just stuff like that. I remember like nobody does that anymore. I mean, you're not really gonna like write all over your game CD though. So, you know, just write it in your phone or whatever. I don't know. I used to have a notebook though with like all my cheats and stuff in it. I remember figuring out all of the Pokemon codes as a kid with Game Shark. Just I knew the basic um, digits. I just did X's after O1, so I just had to figure them all out. Just write them down. It's convenient when uh, you've played the game so many times that fucking around with missing no isn't fun anymore, and. Uh, you kind of just want to start a team with a Raichu, or maybe a Jolteon, or Vaporeon, or something. You just have a whole Eevee team. Anyway, we're almost there. Weep. Thought it was going to get me, didn't ya? Eee. These scrolling parts are always just so boring, though. 
Yeah, sure, I'll pick a backup. Waha! I can't imagine how much more fun this game would be if you did the levels in, um, Mario Wii U style. You know, that's what I should do when I get my Mario Maker on the 11th. I should start remaking Super Mario World in, uh, Mario Maker. Yeah, pose. Look at that awesome pose. I'm just like, I'm too cool for this. Dist? Yay, we got one of the eggs. And bug by castle. I remember being so shocked Mario made such a permanent solution. Not only did he just shove one of the Koopalings into lava, he destroyed and completely demolished the castle that they came from. Oh yeah. Yeah, you don't fuck with his saviors. Saving his life as a kid, man. They're like parents to him. Don't fuck with my family. Peach doesn't matter like that, though. It's whatever. It's like Mario's finally cracked. Anyway, that's, um... That's World 1, basically. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one here. And, uh, next time I post, we'll probably go all the way up to get to the next castle. It should be, like, one castle at a time. Make these episodes kind of short. But also, you know, it's whatever. Anyway... Y'all, uh, have a good one. I'll see you around. Bye.